we just completed designing part three in Inventor, so we're going to move along to part four. Part four is very similar to part three, same basic steps, the angles are a little different, and of course the dimensions are. So we'll move back into Inventor. I still have part three open, so I want to make sure I close it. So I simply click on the lower X in the top right hand corner of the window. I move my mouse to the file pull down and I select new. I ensure that I am in the metric tab so I can see my metric templates and I'm looking for my standard millimeter IPT file. I can double click or select it with a single click and click on OK. And I'm now in sketch mode in Inventor. <clears throat> I am simply going to sketch out using my 2D sketch panel line tool the basic shape of part four. I'll draw four quick lines not concerned too much with the dimensions or the length of the lines and I'll simply just finish that off right there. Now that I have the basic sketch I'm going to scroll down my 2D sketch panel to find my general dimension tool. Single left click to activate it. And now I'm going to add some detailed dimension, parametric dimensions, which will drive this sketch to the accuracy that I desire. So I single left click on the angled line on the left side and a single left click on the lower horizontal line. And I place the dimension in between those two lines, I single click on the dimension and I enter the value of 60. I click on the green arrow to accept it. I am now going to place the dimension in this lower angle here. So I first click on the horizontal line, bottom horizontal, and the angled line. It does not matter which you choose first. As, as soon as you pick two of them, it'll automatically know to place an angular dimension. I click to place the dimension. Currently it's at 59 degrees. I left click to edit the dimension and I enter the value of 83. Left click on the green arrow to accept. The next dimension I wish to place is the lower horizontal line dimension. So I single left click on the horizontal the bottom horizontal line, I, dry, I move my mouse to where I want the dimension and I left click to place the dimension. It's currently at 41 millimeters so I left click to activate my edit dimension dialog box and I enter the value of 150 millimeters. I select the green check mark to accept that. My sketch increases in size so I want to bring that in so I make my way to the zoom all tool at the top left click I am now completed my sketch so I want to exit out of sketch mode to get in to do an extrusion to this part so we make our way to the top toolbar find the return button and single left click I want to place this view in isometric so I can, by the way, I keep doing that only because my personal preference is to extrude in an isometric view so I can see which way it's going and if anything's going to go wrong. Uh, you can extrude in any view that you want. It's just my personal preference. So I just simply go to my view cube and I hover over it till I see the house and I click on the house. I make my way to the part feature lift list on the left side of the screen. I choose extrude. It automatically finds the closed profile. I enter the, prof uh, the extrusion value of 19 millimeters. We are extruding based on distance. Oh, I now see an error. Excellent. The error was I did not, or did I? I did not give the height value here. So I'm just going to cancel this extrusion and this is a very good exercise. In order to edit the sketch, simply go to your browser, find the sketch, and you notice as I put my mouse over it, it highlights in my, my view area. 
I simply just double click and I'm back in sketch mode. So I'm going to add one more dimension, general dimension. I'm going to select the bottom horizontal line and the top horizontal line. Click to place the dimension. I'm going to click once on the dimension so I can edit it. And the value of this dimension is 38. Enter 38, click on the green arrow to accept. To exit sketch mode, I click on the return up along the top. And I'm ready to proceed with the extrude. Make your way to the part feature list, the extrude button on the top on the left side of your screen. Enter the value of 19. We're going to extrude by distance. Click OK. We have now completed part four. To save part four, make your way to the save button. Click on the save. Enter the name part four. Click the save.